what are the two tools every security control assessor must have? What are the two tools every security control assessor must have? Two tools that every security control assessor must have. Now, I call them tools, but actually they're documents. So there are two NIST publications that every security control assessor must have. One is NIST 800-53A, and the other is NIST 800 Dash 53. One talks about security and privacy controls for information systems and organization. That is 800-53. While the other talks about assessing security and privacy controls in information systems and organization. That is 800-53A. So one of the major tools that a security control assessor should have is NIST 800-53A. Now there is a revision five that's currently under draft or is in draft mode uh, at the time of this recording, but most organizations are still using uh, revision four. This document here basically walks you through what to look for what action to take while you're performing the security control assessment. So it gives you all the um, objectives and things of that nature. We're just going to scroll down to where the controls are. Okay, let's look at this uh, AC2 Enhancement 9 Camp Management. So this control here. Uh, in this document is telling you as the assessor how to go about performing the assessment. It's saying um, defines conditions for establishing shared groups accounts and only permits the use of shared slash group accounts that meet organization defined conditions for establishing shared groups accounts. So the assessment method an objective that this document recommends is that the security control assessor examine, the security control assessor interview, and the security control assessor test. So to remember the assessment methods and objectives, just remember tie, like you're knotting a tie, right, a suit and tie, T-I-E. So that those are the methods that the security control assessor could do. They could examine evidence, right? They could examine um, POCs, points of contacts, performing duties. Uh, they could watch someone. Uh, they could shoulder surf over someone um, typing in a password or whatnot. They could um, examine um, policies and procedure documents. They could examine screenshots. All right? They could examine evidence, artifacts. They could interview. They could interview the system owner to see if the system owner approves a particular process. They could interview the engineers. They could interview the admins, the developers, to see if they're follow, following the process, the right process that's laid out in the uh, SOP. Then the security control assessor could test. They could actually um, test, for example, if um, the admin claims that only authorized people can access my system, then the security control assessor could try to access the system. And if the security control assessor is able to access the system, then that means that that control failed. That means that not only authorized people can access that system. Okay, so with this document here, it's telling you for this particular control, 
you could examine, you could interview, you could test. And so this document here is saying this is what we are recommending that you do in terms of a method of assessment. We're saying for this particular control, examine. Examine the access control policy procedures. Saying to look at documentation, look at the... Um, System generated list of shared uh, group accounts. So it's giving you, say, look, system audit records. It's giving you things that you should examine. So this is like um, uh, a tip here, a cheat sheet, if you will. And then also it's saying you should interview, um, and then it's giving you ideas of people who you should interview, administrators personnel with information security responsibilities, account management, people with account management responsibilities, so people like um, approver, approvers, okay? And now it's giving you um, a suggestion on how to test, uh, test any automated mechanisms uh, that are implementing management of shared slash group accounts. So this is a very key tool, all right? And then some controls you'll see where it might just recommend that you examine only. Some might uh, recommend that you examine an interview only. Some might recommend that you test only. So this is, uh, this is cool. The other tool that every security control assessor must have is NIST 800-53. So this is revision 5 of 800-53 and it's basically um, a guide on security and privacy controls for information systems and organizations. So this has all the NIST security controls in there. Uh, we're just going to scroll down to the controls. Okay. So here is a list of security control family, uh, security control families, and I'm not going to get into all of them. I have, um, if you're looking for a detailed uh, description of each security control, I have that in my course on uh, cyberfirstacademy.com. But for the sake of time, these are the control families. All right, so think of the control families as categories of security controls. So these um, experts came together and said, hey, let's think of every security, possible security scenario. Let's think of a scenario of access controls. Let's think of a scenario of um, where people would need training. Let's think of scenarios of um, audit logs. Right? And let's try to group all these scenarios into categories and think of the security controls that we would put in place to prevent or minimize the risk or impact if uh, a breach were to occur or sometimes to prevent the breach altogether. So uh, they came up with access control, which is AC controls. AT, AU, different uh, security control families. So if we look at access controls, here is uh, AC-1, which talks about policies and procedures. Why it is so important to have policies and procedures written out is so that everyone is on the same page. Everyone knows the requirement. Everyone knows the expectation. And uh, Procedure documents also help reduce uh, user error, okay? So if you have a procedure document, an SOP, standard operating procedure that lists out the steps by which you would provision accounts, the steps by which you would do X, Y, Z, then it reduces human error, okay? 
Um, this is another one, AC2, which basically talks about account management, right? So username, password, um, how those accounts are handed out, the group conditions, things of that nature. All right, so this document gives you the security control, what should be in place. The other document we looked at, um, uh, 800-53A, talks about how you should assess the security control. So it's good for you as an assessor to know what the security control is and know how to assess the security control. And then what I like is at the bottom of each control, it has this section that says discussion. So here it gives you um, some guidance, supplemental guidance on how uh, to get a better understanding of what the control requirement is, what the control language is. Okay, so those are the two tools every security control assessor must have because you're going to go to this document to get uh, more clarity on how you uh, assess the controls and how you uh, understand the controls. That you're going to go to those two documents to do that. Okay. I hope you found this video informative. Please like and subscribe. And if you're interested in my cybersecurity courses, it's not one for a security control assessor, please visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thank you. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. This course comes with tons of videos, um, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Bootcamp, comes with quizzes, comes with a certificate of completion, resume template, um, ebook, monthly live Q&A sessions, the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours. Also has interview prep and job prep. So this is a power packed course. For more information, visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at Cyber First Solutions. Thank you.